Good afternoon, or morning, or evening, depending where you're at in the world. So I want to talk about a few things right now. One of them is rest, all right? The other is the formula to building muscle, right? Because there's a formula. It's not like you go in there and just start lifting some weights and you can expect muscle to grow. And three is the nutrition part, okay? These, these are two, these are three things that I want you to, I want to educate you on right now. Honestly, it's a little complex, right? So, rest. So, because I'm driving, I'm, I'm looking at the road right now. I'm not looking at the screen often. Um, rest. For you to build muscle, you have to have adequate rest. It is where you build the most, where you recover the most, okay? When I first started, I would work out seven days a week. That's a lot. I saw my muscles didn't recover as fast. And I would always get sick. I recommend five days a week is like optimal. Like uh, right now I'm working out five days a week. I've tried four, um, but five days I feel great. You know, uh, my rest days, I do some hit cardio. Uh, my energy is high, my concentration is high, my libido is high. Um, it's great, you know, like fuck. Uh, excuse me if I'm um, cussing profanity. Yeah, okay. Kind of makes makes you uncomfortable. My apologies. Um, I just try to be as real as I can, and I know I, I tend to cuss a lot. Um, yeah. And your muscles really get tired when you're working. When you're working out, you're tearing the muscle. You're literally causing harm to them. You know, because you're you're lifting a really heavy weight. Um, for you to build muscle more on the heavy weight on when I talk about the formula so that's why it's critical it's critical you have to get adequate rest get at least six hours of rest there was a study made and that, and that study I don't have the title my apologies but the adequate amount of rest a human being needs is six to eight hours depending you know everybody's a little different at least for me it's six hours after I, I sleep six hours I'm, I'm good like I sleep one six hour <laughs> Like, I think that once a week, I, I sleep six hours. For the rest of the weeks, I sleep four, maybe five. My body's weird like that. It, like, I don't know, it just gets up. And sometimes I tell myself, I program myself to get up. As soon as my eyes open, I get up. I say thanks. Thank you, um, God. Uh, thank you, universe, for, you know, for, for another day, for another blessing. And so, that's why I do it. Uh, but you need rest, right? Make sure you get enough rest and you feel good. So for me, when I get those six, I'm just like, I feel like a brand new baby. <laughs> that's so much energy. So that's how muscles grow. You you get good, good recovery time, good sleep time, adequate rest. Now, um, the formula, there's a formula to build muscle, okay? So before I go into the formula, the takeaway, have at least two days of rest, at least, you know, three at most, you know? Why? The benefits, you recover and you build muscle, okay? Hey, welcome to this live. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your support. I appreciate you for being on my live. Um, I'm talking about rest, why it's important to rest when, when working out and lifting weights, right? It's how it's critical for you to build muscle. And so now I'm going on to the formula to build muscle. So there is a specific formula. There's two. I'm going to go over one, the one that most likely you will use. Um, because I don't want you to need a partner. You know? So if, if you want that one, send me a DM. I actually wrote an ebook on it and I'll give it to you. If you if you're listening to this, you want my my mu muscle building secrets, that's why I named it, muscle building secrets. Um, you want that book, send me a send me a DM. Now, there's four principles 
to building muscle the way that I do, okay? People know this, you know, I didn't create them, they're just there, they're already there, I just put them together, organize them, that's what I like to do, organize things. Same for my businesses, I, I do that too, I organize different principles from other people, other business people, and put them into my own. Okay, so number one, there's four steps. <clears throat> number one is the warm up. You always want to warm up the muscle. This represents, this means you heat up the muscle, you do lightweight, 20 to 30 reps for upper body, 30 to 50 reps for lower body. Make sure that you start getting a burning, a fire sensation in the body, okay? You start getting a burning fire sensation. Let the ego go. Where lift the weight. Be okay with the weight. All right. Be okay with it. Um, being light. Be okay with it. Being light. Okay. Now you don't really. You could count it, or you could not count that one as one of your workouts. Um, okay. Now, second step. Second step is the form. You want to control the weight. Control the form. Because if something is too, too heavy, you're not even focused on the weight and the muscle. I mean, you're not focused on the muscle, you're just focused on the weight. You're focused on the weight, trying to lift it up. You're trying to control your position and your, and your posturing. And this takes energy. This takes focus. Because your body's trying to protect your, your ass from killing yourself. Because, you know, you have bars and weights on top of you. This is why it's important to know this really let the ego go because that's why people get injured in the gym it's very dangerous now keep the form all right concentrate on the muscle keep the form that way you're on your focus on the muscle now what you want to do next now that you've warmed up now that you're controlling the form now that you mastered the form you want to lift heavy lift heavy but to the point where you're actually controlling the weight, not where you're out of control. Because that's where you're gonna get injured. Okay, that's the third step. You tear the muscle, and that's where you start. Not where you start building muscle, but that's what causes you to build muscle. You tear the muscle. You work out really heavy with, with heavy weight. That tears the muscle, and now that's the precursor to building the muscle. Because now you go home, you eat, you get adequate rest. Hence my rest step that I talked about earlier. And you build, rebuild, firmer, stronger muscle, okay? Now, the fourth and final step is control the rhythm. You want to control the rhythm of the weight. You can't, you don't want to bounce. Don't bounce the weight. You want to keep constant tension on the muscle. Constant tension is what builds the muscle with heavy weight. So, right here, you're not going too heavy. You're going heavy enough to challenge yourself, but not to like, you know, like max out, which was the previous one. That's what the people call out, call max out, right? So step three, you call max out. You call it the max out step rather than the tear the muscle step. So you just control the rhythm, control the movement, and you're saturating the muscle. You're pumping blood into it. And that's how you start developing muscle. You start like really tearing a lot of the little fibers. You start tearing a lot of the little fibers in your muscle. And before you know it, you're growing. Your, your biceps are growing. Your glutes are growing. Your legs are growing. And you're starting to look sexy. People are starting to like you. People are starting to comment you, comment to you. Like, really? Like, I'm attracted to, like, the finest athletic women. I, I'm sorry. That's the way I am. You know, like, women who are not athletic and who are not, like, in shape, I'm not attracted to them. It's like, I'm just like, <laughs> that's just the way I am, you know? I just really like really, really in shape, beautiful women. That's just the way I am. Always have been that way. And so... um yeah, this is the benefits, you know, like for me, I didn't get in shape because, you know, I want to be attractive to women. No, I did it because I wanted to feel better about myself. I was in a very bad position in school. They're like organizing and then like, you know, conflict within 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 like the organizations causes a lot of like emotional stress. And then I looked at myself and I said, man, I'm an emotionally stressed. I'm emotionally stressed out. Um, maybe you could say in pain because all the fighting and you know I'm more of a I'm a love type of guy so I don't like when friends fight and stuff like that and so in this organization this is what happened one of our friends had got in trouble 
and people were not supporting him. I was, because a lot of people were taking the the side of the other the other friend, because you know that there was a dispute between two people. It was very personal. And yeah, so I said I'm gonna start to take care of my health, my emotions. I'm not going to uh, let this take control of me. So I started working out, started getting in shape, and I said I want to build muscle. You know? Yeah, I went to prison, but I, we worked out a lot. But I didn't build muscle because we only had weights and had, we only we only had body weights and bars. And even then, I was really focused on building muscle. I just wanted to like get big as humanly possible. Um, so I was eating a lot. I wasn't really. Um, I didn't even answer the question, how do I build muscle? I was just like, I just need to eat, I need to eat, I need to eat. <laughs> that, was, that was it. It's more like survival there. You're just trying to get so big to, to look intimidating and stuff like that. But not enough about the prison stuff. Um, yeah. That's what happened to me. Now, there's one more step I wanted to talk about. Oh, nutrition. Nutrition. Now, let's go on to the final portion of this is Nutrition. You really want to eat enough protein, have high levels of protein. Say if you weigh 100, let's say you you weigh 140 pounds, all right? You weigh 140 pounds. If you're trying to build muscle, you need a minimum 140, so I recommend you eat 160. 1.1, okay? Just to be safe, just to be good. You're already at an abundance at that level, okay? You know, make sure you're eating whole grains, complete whole meals. And if you do eat small meals, like I typically do, have whey protein and put it in ice make sure you blend it into a smoothie because that keeps you full and also eat um salads have almonds sliced almonds with a little bit of um um olive oil my god that that but limit it right don't don't drain it in olive oil just drizzle it in olive oil sprinkle on some almonds this is healthy fats and they keep you full okay so that's how I want you to apply some of that fat intake and the protein intake you eat. Lean meats, chicken, chicken breast specifically, tilapia, pollock, salmon, lean beef, carne asada. Um, and that's a big accent. Carne, <laughs> carne asada. Um, flat meat. Flap meat, in other words. Lean pork. If you, that's something you like and it works for you. It works for me. I like it. Um, but, um, you know, I'd rather you just eat the pollock. Because it's lean, less calories. I don't have to worry about the fat too much. Um, but yeah, and also you want to have a cheat meal once a week. Have a cheat meal. Trust me, it helps. You know, like psychologically and your body tells you, like, if you're eating at a certain amount of calories every single day and then you get a surplus of calories, you'll actually burn fat because your body says, hey, bro, hey, girl, we have a lot of calories if we want them. So let's start burning some of this fat because we're good. We don't got to be reserving it. Your body wants to protect you. But if it knows that you have a lot of cert- lot, of, lot, a lot of food around you and you're not stressed out, say, because you're maintaining a certain amount of calories all the time and you're happy, the, those little spikes just say, hey, burn fat. Yeah, that's how it works. So I hope this helped you. You know, um, these are the tips that I would have wish somebody would have told me. And yeah, you really want to... Watch what you eat. Know what calories and macros are coming in. Know that know that you're eating enough protein and track it. Because if you're not tracking, you don't know how much you have, okay? You want to be certain that you have enough protein. And therefore, you build the muscle. You stay toned. And you start looking great. You start being in shape, okay? Even if you don't work out, you need to have enough protein. Because your body rebuilds all the time. And protein is the building block. Without the brick or the building block, you can't build a house. So... You don't have the brick, the house doesn't go up. Okay? Have enough protein. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for being on this live. I know you're watching right now. Someone right here, comment below so I know who you are. But other than that, I hope you like this um, episode, this podcast, this video. They'll be here. So come back, take the notes, and apply it. And if you want to join my virtual program that teaches you how to do this specifically step by step, Click the link below um, and sign up, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay? Have a great day. Bye. And muscles. Yeah.